One of the most amazing things about blockchain is that there's a ton of opportunity for people who are relatively new to make a big impact. Because people ask me all the time, like, how long does it take to become a blockchain developer? Like, can I get a job with hardly any coding experience? And so today I want to share a video of one of my students who is brand new to blockchain and in a matter of months helped launch a project that made over $100,000 in the first 30 minutes. And she didn't have very much blockchain experience, you know, before she did this. So I'm super excited to share this video with you today. I think you're really going to like this, you know, get a lot of insight and also inspiration from what they've done. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish and build your own real world project just like this with not much coding experience, uh, then I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So I'm super excited to have Uni on the channel today because, you know, she's somebody who uh, is relatively new to the blockchain space and jumped in uh, you know, kind of on the ground floor of a project launch that was really successful. So uh, welcome to the channel, Uni. Hello, I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really, um, really excited to share this conversation with everybody because I know there are a lot of people kind of sitting on the sidelines and maybe been watching this channel for a while or maybe they're brand new and they're trying to think like, hey, is this something I can do? Like how much experience do I need? Um, but I want to talk about like the project that you got involved with uh, because that made a pretty big splash. So tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, it, we did. We, I was surprised. I was really surprised because um, we. I. I don't have. I don't have that much experience. I mean, I just started with Uniswap in like July, and then here I go. I come up with a project, um, and we on our liquidity generation event, we sold out 300 ETH, and we did that within 30 minutes, which was fabulous. I never expected yeah. that to happen, and um, it really, it really blew my mind. And then not only that, but we were also also listed on CoinGecko within the first six hours of us having our liquidity generation event and being posted on Uniswap. So yeah. what was supposed to be like a week long event happened in 30 minutes, which is wild. Yeah, that's really great. I mean, that's just kind of a reflection of how crazy the space is right now. You know, 300 ether in 30 minutes, you're talking six figures uh, in under an hour. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's pretty great. So what's the name of the project again? So we, we all have a, have an idea. Governor Dow, and, and the ticker is G Dow. Okay, all right. So yeah, this is a brand new project, and we're going to talk about this more towards the end of the video, um, so you guys can get get an idea of like what the project is and how it works. But before we do that, I want to talk more about your background because because I really want people to you know see what's possible in this space. You know, like I said, there's so many people they're kind of sitting on the sidelines, maybe they've been doing some tutorials, and they're wondering like, hey, is this something that I can do? Um, so let's talk about that. You know, where, what was your background before jumping on this project? Cause you said you're relatively new to blockchain. I'll just kind of hand it over to you and you can, you can tell us about it. How about that? Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. I am relatively new to blockchain technology. Um, prior to that, uh, my background is in data science. So a little bit different um, uh, story there. I, my background is formerly in economics. So I have my master's in economics and um I just deal with like a lot of numbers, a lot of data, and um, I do forecasting um, for the company that I work for. And um, I that that was all that I that I really knew was was Python and um, a little bit of JavaScript, but not that much, like barely any um, a at that time. And I was like, "What is this uh, blockchain technology deal going on here?" Because I was seeing how much money was being made on Uniswap and how much. Uh, success I was having on there and I was a community moderator so I was like you know dipping my toes into the different projects and communities and networking and um, getting to know people in that community and then I was like well you know developing it seems to be where all the fun is and you know I can I can do some python so maybe I could do some solidity you know I don't I don't know like so I I, I started researching it a little bit but there's just so many different things everywhere online and it gets a little bit intimidating because feels so, like I'm never going to get anywhere just by like, you know, reading all these different, you know, things on the screen, uh, quite frankly. So um, I reached out to a dev friend that I knew for a product I was working with um, friends and he recommended that I, that I check you out. So I did and I, and I saw you on YouTube, gave me a video and I was like, wow, this is an example of how in day one I'm able to actually have a, a DAP that I could actually use 
and um, and I can you know write on my my resume so to speak for whenever I go out and I look at other projects that I want to become part of. And I'm a very like enterprising kind of person, so I see opportunity to go out and I do it, even if I don't feel like I may be 100% ready. And I feel like that was necessary though, because otherwise I'd be stuck in what 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 I refer to as analysis paralysis, where you just feel like you know I'm gonna analyze everything, I'm gonna keep on learning, and I'm gonna do all these things and then never actually make anything of it. And uh, I did not want to get stuck in that in that system. I've, I've been there before um, with Python you when know, I first started learning it. And I was like, I got it, I get it. And I just didn't because I never actually had any projects under my belt. So I never felt as confident as I did. And then I come to a company and they're like, hey, we want you to do this and that. And I end up teaching Python to, uh, to a bunch of adults who can like see right through it if I don't know what I'm talking about. So it's like, I was really put to uh, tested, you know, to my limits then, and, and I'm doing that to myself again here with Solidity, and I'm loving it. And I and like every time I'm able to execute something and it's actually working as intended, and I can tweak different aspects of of different projects that you throw out there, I get more confident about my ability uh, and see what I can do in the future as well. So, like I've gone from like you know those token farm stuff to now like I'm looking into like. Um, genomics and like like trying to break down the secrets for the you know secret kitty sauce for um you know crypto kitties and stuff like that so it's like <laughs> for their crypto breaking their crypto science but it's like it's very interesting uh where you can go with uh, blockchain technology and i'm very excited for it yeah that's awesome uh, i'm super impressed with your progress and there's a lot of stuff in there that you said that i think um is, is just key. And I, I think it's really important. I, I try to reiterate this over and over my channel, but I think it's important that, that you said it, which is taking action is key. You know, you can, you can do tutorials, you can do all this stuff, internalize the knowledge, but at some, some point you just have to jump and yeah. uh, get out there. And that's what you've done. And it's, uh, it's sounds like it's paid off well. <laughs> Definitely. No, I like, I think that that's just something I picked up like ever since I was a child, you know, my parents are always just like, you know, do it, you know, just, just put yourself out there. You know, you can't just like sit, sit on your butt and expect, you know, results to happen. You have to actually put yourself out there and, and risk the embarrassment of being wrong. But that's the only way you can learn. Sometimes uh, you can't just feel like you have all the confidence in the world, but you haven't done anything yet. Yeah. Nothing to show for it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, that's super exciting. So let's, let's talk about, um, you know, this project because I'm, ex I'm in intrigued to hear more about what this does, your involvement with it and everything. All right. So I've got this pulled up on my screen here. So I'm going to let you drive and kind of talk about this. I can click on any links that you want me to, uh, but I'll, I'll turn it back over to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is right now what we have is our page. And so we have a large team of developers. I'm working on the, the back end on the part that says coming soon <laughs> at the top. Sure. Um, and and they have a lot of information on here and it's kind of like uh, explaining the purpose of our origins. It's a phoenix, as you can see there, because it is supposed to be like a representative of the rebirth of a community, that community being CBDAO, um, which uh, if you're familiar, it's a, if you're not familiar rather, it's a project that was intended for creating governance as a service. Um, and that is really the purpose is to help bootstrap DAOs or decentralized autonomous organizations and help them, um, you know, go from 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 origin and, and grow to become a strong and decent, truly decentralized organization. And um, CBDAO, unfortunately, was uh, rug pulled and they had a market cap of uh, 50, 50 million and, and, and over at one point and they were on Binance and everything. And then uh, one of the developers decided to rug pull. Um, and uh, they just flooded the, the liquidity on Uniswap and took took all the took all the the ETH that was underlying it. So that's unfortunate. But the community, however, is still there, and that's why uh, this GDAO exists. And that's why you see there it says we have uh, risen from the ashes, and the birth of a new era has begun. And so it's really revolutionary. And the great thing is that we already have the support of the community. Um, behind us and as you see at the top there's the airdrop which uh, we're going to be giving out um, and we actually decided to gamify the airdrop so uh, we decided to not just have one big large sum, sum of uh, tokens being dumped all at one time as we had originally thought because we're like hmm maybe people might just sell at that big bag moment so what we did is um, an idea actually that I came up with was to start with a 10% 
um, and go off and uh, like if someone wanted to claim their airdrop on day one, they could claim up to 10% of their airdrop. And then the remaining 90% would be split half and half, half to a burn pool. And the other half would actually go to a rewards pool that will be spread across all the people who waited a full 90 days to get 100% of their airdrop. So you could also wait till, you know, day day 40 and then you have 50% of, of your airdrop, et cetera. So that way it kind of staggers it out and allows for the airdrop to kind of come out as a drip. And it also allows for a, a, a deflationary aspect of the of the tokens. So instead of it being a 3 million um, cap, there's actually going to be less than that because there are going to be people who want their airdrop a lot sooner. And it disincentivizes people from um, wanting to just dump the market as soon as possible and it incentivizes people to um, wait that full 90 days because they have that pool and they also will have 100% of their airdrop as well. And also it's just to signal that loyalty. And another way to like benefit people within the community other than the airdrop is that the pools, which is what the component that I'm um, in charge of, uh, we're actually giving a four times bonus on those who are providing liquidity. So if you have a GDAO ETH pair, then you'll have a four times bonus on the GDAO uh, rewards that you'll be uh, receiving as part of your yield whenever you're unstaking your liquidity pool tokens, or if you're just, you know, just want to collect your yield while you have it in there, you can do that at four times the amount of the other stakers in that environment. Awesome. Yeah. So it sounds like you've done a lot of uh, thinking through all of this to come up with some really unique ideas uh, yeah. for the economics of this to uh, really improve <laughs> some of the broken incentives that might be out there on other projects. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And, and it's, it's, it's really fun because you have a, like I said before, we had a, a large team. I was trying to look at the website that we have, gdao.network as well. It's another website that we have. Um, and on there, it's more for forums. So we're going to have different um, topics in there. And we're currently filling that out. We're also working on the white paper. And, um, and going back to how big the team is. So we have people working on the front end, the back end, um, the people who are writing medium articles, people who are running different aspects of the community, like the Twitter, like the Telegram, like the, um, the Discord, and like uh, gdao.network as well, which is one that we recently launched too. So a lot of very talented uh, people working, working there and a lot of people trusting me working on the farm alone. Uh, which is a great honor because I, I want to make sure everybody has everything that they expected and more. And I'm just excited to, to, to show everyone what we have. And we haven't released any like uh, any like images or anything of what the farms are going to look like and everything or uh, that whole concept. But I hope that the people like it whenever it comes out and I'm excited for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So everybody make sure you check the link down below. I'll put a link I'll put a link to this project so you can stay up to date uh, and find out about that as soon as, uh, as soon as this goes live. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's super exciting. Well, this has been awesome, Uni. Um, again, you know, I'm super impressed with everything that you've done um, in such a short amount of time, you know, just kind of, you said getting on Uniswap in July and yeah. we are just, Late July. <laughs> you know, four to five months later. Uh, at this point where you're, you know, on the ground floor of a, a project that has been, you know, made, made, a, made a big splash, a big bang, and uh, sounds like it's uh, getting a lot of good traction here. So that's... Well, that is only a few months. <laughs> so much has happened in that time. I have to like double check that. I was like, wow. Yeah. 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 When people talk about uh, this space, you know, moving on a different time scale, sort of like... Yeah, you know, Definitely. <laughs> the uh, space movies about, you know, a day on earth is <laughs> like a thousand years here or something like that. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm going to put a link down below. You know, if anybody else uh, wants to learn more about this, are there some social channels that they can check out for this product or, or even your own, own personal channels, whatever, whatever you want to talk about, uh, the floor is yours. Yeah, um, well, there's uh, GDAO uh, or governordow.org. There's the Twitter, which is twitter.com. Um, and the handle is uh, governor underscore Dow, and then the uh, Telegram is Governor Project. So t dot me slash Governor Project. Um, as for myself, you can, my uh, Twitter is Crypto Unico, um, and I just started a a website um, or two websites under the same URL, like Learn Dash Solidity dot com. Not to be your competitor or anything, <laughs> but just, 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 it's like little tidbits of knowledge just because yeah. I just want, I have a lot of people that have come up to me and asked me about it and stuff like that too, who are, you know, 
intimidated by, you know, like the, the coding aspects of it, but still want to learn at a higher level what, what it means to develop developing in Solidity. So that's another thing. And that one's just an app right now. So I literally made that like a week ago, uh, just like bought the domain, decided, hey, it's a cool domain. So let me make something into it. Um, and the other domain that, that links to the same page is uh, is uh, SolidityWiz.com. So <laughs> I like having domains. I have a lot of domains. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll put some links to those down in the description below. See so if everybody can check that out. Uh, again, Uni, uh, this is great to have you on the channel. I'm going to go ahead and wrap us up here today. Uh, before I do that, is there anything else that you wanted to mention before we you know, call it a day? Um, I appreciate everything that you do. I'm really grateful that you exist. So I, I don't think I would have had all this confidence and momentum had it not been for you and your videos. So thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's one of the biggest reasons I do this. So I'm super excited that, uh, you know, you were able to have such a, have such a great success in such a short amount of time. <laughs> Definitely. I always, I always refer people out and I say, you know, check him out. He knows what he's talking about. So, and Very people are people nine times out of 10, they've already heard of you too. So they're like, <laughs> like, yeah, his stuff's really good. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Good, well, stuff. good stuff. I'm glad to know that something's working. We'll put it that way. <laughs> Definitely. Thank awesome. you. Well, that's been great. Um, again, check everything out down below. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. As always, you know, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.